Officials right now want you to know the ways you can stay safe on our roadways, especially since it's getting darker earlier. CSP says 70% of crashes involving pedestrians happen when the sun is down. Your first alert traffic tracker reporter Brian Sherrod joining us live from downtown Denver now and Brian officials say it's up to all of us to keep these crashes from happening. And Brian, they say the biggest problem is this device right here, our phones. They say when drivers are on the road, too many of them have it in their hands, they're distracted, but the pedestrians that are actually walking around are looking down at their phone, and that's causing problems as well. Both are distractions. Now, when I spoke with Carl State Patrol today, they said, starting with the driver, you should scan the roads as often as you can. Make sure you don't speed past any areas, especially school zones or roads with blinking lights. Pedestrians need to make sure you're seen. Wear light-colored clothing, and if you can, reflective gear around wrists and ankles. Both driver and pedestrian need to follow road signs. Another thing to remember, kids will be heading to school in the morning during a time the sun is still down. Parents need to make sure the kids know the rules. We should be taking them to school, making sure they understand that route, they understand the hazards and the dangers along the way, and they know particular spots where they need to pay extra special attention. Uh, they need to understand the boundaries of, the, of staying on the sidewalk and they need to know because mom and dad took them and told them and showed them that this is where I need to stop on the corner. This is the button I need to hit to get the crosswalk. Now, another thing to remember is that music can also be a distraction. Now, if you're driving around an area, especially a populated one, turn down your music because loud music will take your distraction and just enhance it even more. Now, with pedestrians, they also say if you're running around or walking around, just take one of your headphones out of your ears so you can at least hear your surroundings. That's going to make the biggest difference. Live in Denver, I'm Brian Schrod covering Carl First. All good stuff to know. Brian, thank you.